My name is Adrian Harding, and I'm 68 years old, and since I moved to this old house in the middle of the countryside, that strange man never stops looking through the window next to the main door. He doesn't say anything, and I'm not familiar with his appearance, because he's always wearing that dirty bag on his head. I'm not able to leave the house because his intentions are unknown. And I'm afraid of what he's capable of committing. Now, more than ever, I miss my shotgun. She could rip that guy's brain into many pieces. I can't fall asleep at night, knowing that he won't move from there. So I constantly stay close to the glass and check on it to make sure. Unfortunately, I'm always right. It doesn't matter how long I wait for him to leave my property. He keeps staying there like a fucking statue. Entertaining myself was impossible. I tried playing card games, reading, and even watching pornography. But nothing satisfied me. I tried calling friends, family, Please. and even the police. Please. Please. Somebody. Somebody. But nobody has ever answered me. Why now? Why here? Why me? I ran out of food, water, and other essential supplies, so I've been starving for days. And if that was not delightful enough, my entire home is a mess. The winter is coming, and the temperature is decreasing. However, he doesn't even seem to care about it. He drove me crazy and stole my emotional stability. I waited and waited and waited for a miracle or a signal but it was in vain Today, I took my final decision. I thought it was time to confront this situation. My anger and rage invaded my body completely. However, when I was about to accomplish it, my insecurities and fear came back. I 
I'm such a coward. I don't have the balls to take control of myself and face him. I realize I'm not the person I used to be. Therefore, I'm writing this last message to let anyone know why I decided to leave this world forever. And probably when you read it, my body will be smelly and full of worms. <laughs>